Paul Miller and Nancy Crenshaw Miller own Rock Hill Ranch, Inc. in Wabunsee County. They operate an Angus cow-calf herd with help from their partners, Randall and Aaron Debler. The Deblers plan to purchase the ranch that's been in Paul's family for more than 100 years. Limestone rock fences remain one of the marquee features of the ranch. Paul has meticulously labored to preserve and improve these fences and the open grasslands for future generations. The Millers work hard to control invasive species, including oak, locust, hackberry trees, and more, by clearing the hills to not only improve grass stands, but to also improve the habitat for the greater prairie chicken through mechanical removal and spot spraying. Ceriza Lespediza and Eastern Red Cedar Control also take considerable amounts of Miller's time. This is tedious and time-consuming work, which has paid dividends in protecting the native grasses on their ranch. Their forage-based program utilizes paddocks of brome, native and eastern gamma grasses to provide full utilization of their land for cattle grazing. The gamma is a high-protein grass which produces abundant feed and has proven to be more productive than other varieties with low fertilizer needs. Cattle are rotated between the paddocks based on grass condition to provide optimal yield without overgrazing. A solar-powered groundwater pumping system helps offset the effects that droughts taken on the ranch's usually reliable streams and springs. Without this well water, the only other way to utilize some of the pastures would be to haul water. The solar pumps provide water and pay for themselves by not having to bring electricity to remote pastures. Cost share dollars through the NRCS Environmental Quality Incentives Program have been used to help with the cost of fencing paddocks, planting the eastern gamma grass, fighting invasive species, and installing the solar-powered pump stations.